This is Take 5 with Bentley, Nevada. Joining us today is Chris McMillan, Senior Product Manager for Bentley, Nevada's sensor portfolio, and that includes the Ranger Pro wireless system. Hey, Chris, welcome. Pleasure to be on the show. Chris, as part of your role, I understand that you keep an eye on the competitive landscape. How many different wireless vibration offerings are out there right now? Well, certainly with wireless becoming more and more accepted by customers and the advantages that I'm sure we'll be talking about in in just a few minutes here, there are several different wireless players that are on the marketing beyond just Bentley, Nevada. So I'd say within the last five years, you know, there seems to be kind of a new, you know, one or two every quarter that seems to be popping up. In total, how many would you estimate at this point? I would estimate today, you know, real players today. That, uh, what I mean by that is, you know, substantial offerings and, and a high high quality offering for our customers. You know, there's probably at least 30 um, on the market today, <laughs> well-known names. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So undoubtedly over time, it's going to consolidate. But I guess the question now is if you're a customer, how do you pick which horse to ride? And with 30 plus offerings out there, you could get kind of overwhelmed. So what What are some of the most important things that you'd encourage customers to look at when they're kind of in this selection phase? I get that question a lot from from going out with customers. But, you know, look, with any with any wireless offering that's out there, as as you as the customer are looking at deploying, you know, there's a couple of different things you need to ask yourselves or, or be thinking about. Um, and there's really about four, you know, there's actually five, but I'll, I'll talk about the top four. One is, one is range. You know, you're looking to deploy, uh, you know, a wireless solution. You want to look at, at range. And that, what I physically mean by that is literally just distance, right? You know, you've got a, an asset or, or, a, or a machine that you want to monitor. What's that distance that needs to be transmitted wirelessly? You know, that will dictate a few different factors. Uh, one is around protocol. You know, you're going to find with... With a variety of different players out there, you know, there's quite a few different protocols uh, that are out there as well. And I'm sure we'll go into this in a little bit of details later. But as you're looking at these different wireless standards, you know, one of the questions you need to ask yourselves is, you know, is, you know, is that is that protocol proprietary, meaning it's just that one vendor's specific protocol or is it fairly open? Basically, can that wireless offering communicate with other uh, other measurement modalities that are happening in that same protocol? Um, a pretty big one for you is, you know, power source. You know, oftentimes we like to think about, oh, you know, wireless, it's going to be, you know, it's going to be battery powered. You know, that's great. Uh, but a little unknown fact is take a look at, you know, battery life, how you're going to lose this. Make sure, you, uh, you know, customers look at uh, implementing some sort of a battery replacement program. Are they rechargeable? Are they replaceable? Can you replace said batteries in the field? And really, what's that availability? you know, of that battery. Once again, is it a, is it an off the shelf battery uh, or is it a proprietary? You need to go back to one of the vendors. So, and of course, last but not least, and I'll be real quick on this is, you know, in today's day and age, we can't uh, dismiss the security aspects, you know, so that encryption or, or that cybersecurity piece. So those, those are really the four or five factors I would say, you know, looking at any of the wireless offerings that are on the market today, you know, take, take a close look at. Well, Chris, I think what we'll need to do in light of that, uh, is have you back probably for uh, multiple sessions. In fact, I can see that right now. Uh, So can I extend an offer to have you back for a few more uh, sessions, probably somewhere between six and 10, and we can really dive into some of the details? Absolutely, of course. Okay, okay. Well, with that in mind, Chris, thanks for joining us today. You've been listening to Take 5 with Bentley.